Okay. So last time, let's briefly recall. Last time we we uh, we introduced a new perspective of uh, to understand rebounding motion or rotation uh, motion, and that's basically an operator view. So the key fact I want everyone to memorize or remember is the following: is that rotation motion is actually satisfies a differential equation. If a, if a point follow a rotation motion, it, sac it satisfies the uh, differential equation, and that differential equation is linear. Okay, and since we reviewed the solution to to linear systems, and the solution can be written down analytically. So at any given point, any given point, initially at the p zero, after time t, it's if it follows a rotation motion, it will be at p t, and these two are related by as a solution of a linear system, and its solution can be uh, expressed analytically using the matrix exponential. Okay, in this way, we can view that uh, exponential omega hat t as an operator that operates p0 and moves that to pt after following the rotation motion. Right? So this becomes a action. It's not like a uh, uh, orientation uh, representation. It's become a representation of an action. Uh, we gave many examples, several examples that explain the difference between uh, change of coordinate and the operation view of the rotation matrices. Uh, I think we stop at uh, here to represent. We have the relation. Uh, so for replacement operator, we have, uh, if we want to express the replacement operator in a frame A, a frame B, and their relation, this operator's representation, matrix form representation has the following relation. And we derived it briefly last time in using one approach. Uh, basically, just if we want to apply, basically what we want is that you rotate. I have a point, right? I have a point P, rotation axis. I want to rotate to P prime. Okay, uh, <clears throat> if I want to represent this operation in A frame, or I want to represent this operation in B frame, they will have a different, uh, the, the, the matrices correspond to the rotation operator have different expressions, and this relations uh, is related by that. Okay, uh, that's pre last time we give one approach to prove it. This, this time I want to use another way to, more algebraic way to, to explain this. Okay. Uh, first of all, let's recall uh, that uh, recall a fact that if for any, let's say for any A in R3, we know uh, a skew symmetric that's uh, in little SO3, right? That's a skew symmetric matrices. And the fact is the following to R, any rotation matrix, let's say for any R belong to capital SO3, any rotation matrix. If I rotate this vector first, then take skew symmetric matrix, because this also, uh, after take the rotation is also R3 vector, right? Then this is belongs to R3 as well. And the relation is this skew, skew symmetric equals to R times the skew symmetric of A, the original vector A, and times R transpose. I think we mentioned that uh, last time, uh, this fact. This can be proved by plugging algebraically the definitions of skew symmetric matrices and the uh, <clears throat> some elementary properties of the rotation matrix. So I wouldn't go over it here. And verify, um, I think this you can verify yourself. Let's keep this in mind. Keep this in mind. Now let's uh, let's think about what we have learned in this lecture. Operator view. Okay, a rotation operator. Let's say omega. Let's think about the rotation happens in A. By theta, and by definition or by our result, this is nothing but matrix exponential in A times theta, okay? 
suppose uh, omega hat is a unit vector, right? So time because becomes uh, just the degree you rotate. So that means rotate about omega hat by theta degree. Now I express everything in a frame. So omega hat will have a frame uh, coordinate. That's all I mean. Now I want to see if I want to represent everything in B frame, what happens? So that will be E to the omega. I will change coordinate now, right? Uh, I will say this becomes R B A omega hat A. That's times theta, right? So if we read this one will be nothing but R omega hat, sorry. You should correct me if, I, if you see typos, right? This is a B. Change coordinate B to A, then this will be my omega hat in A. Okay, then we use the fact, use this fact. What we got is the following, E to the, the skew symmetric after multiplied by this RBA, then I can write RBA times omega hat B times RBA transpose times theta. Okay. Uh, because theta is a scalar, I can move theta around, doesn't change the result. Okay. And uh, you should remember another fact, recall fact, the following fact is E, let's say P A P inverse, if P is invertible, a square matrix equal to P E to the A P inverse. We proved that for matrix exponential uh, in the lecture note one. Okay, so based on this fact, we know, and also we know, also we know R A, uh, R B A, R B A equal to R B, uh, A B A transpose equal to R B A inverse. Okay, because this R transpose times R equal to, and then it, that's the uh, requirement for being a rotation matrix. So essentially what we have is just a P and a P inverse here. So what we can conclude is the following because theta can be moved around, right? So we don't care about theta for now. So this is RBA <laughs> times exponential omega hat B theta times omega hat B, uh, let me see what I use. Uh, BA transpose, let me directly write down the final result. B A transpose is A B, okay? So we also derive this way. That's the second approach, just directly use the fact of, uh, of this uh, rotation matrix and skew symmetric matrix uh, and using rotation operator view, um, you can conclude the same uh, result. So that's, I think this one should be easy to understand. If you want to operate, let's say you know how to operate rotate in B frame, but you want to work with A frame coordinate. All you need to do is that change coordinate to B, then apply a B frame rotation, then change back to A. That's the whole process, okay? Hope that's clear. And uh, let's directly start the next part, which is uh, generalize the rotation operator to rigid body transformation operator. Uh, previous discussion is uh, it relies on the connection between rotation move motion can be described by a simple linear equation, right? And now let's uh, uh, let me just directly say that as we just reviewed, okay. So any rigid motion can be thought of as a, a screw motion. So if I say a point undergoes a screw motion or a rigid body motion. I can just say uh, under screw motion with some kind of screw axis S. And suppose, let's think about unit speed for now, okay? In this case, let's draw a picture. Uh, let's think, let's standardize our, standardize our kind of uh, 
read body motion as a screw motion, right? So I can just think about there's a screw axis, okay? And uh, I know screw axis not only depends on the screw, but also uh, the direction, but also a some kind of, uh, I don't think I draw it um, clearly, but uh, there's some pitch or thread on the screw that induce some linear motion. Okay, and uh, this is O, that's pick a frame, that's, and suppose that might have a point and there goes screw motion, this is my P of T now, right? So now the screw axis doesn't need to pass through the origin, it's not a pure rotation. And uh, <clears throat> so this point undergoes a screw motion. Um, let's say this is my point and this goes like this. Okay, undergoes screw motion. Uh, it's not pure rotation. Let's say this uh, it also moves towards that. Okay, suppose that will be my P of uh, uh, future time. Okay. Uh, overall, I, will, I can describe this motion. I know this velocity is this. And the, because this point, I mean, this point is really attached to the body, right? This has screw motion. I can use uh, the definition of the twist or velocity is OPT, the PT dot, let's say dot, equals to V of O, body fixed point velocity currently coincided with O, uh, plus an omega cross OP. T, right, at time T. That's a coordinate free kind of uh, uh, relation. And this is directly from definition of twist. This is the, the first, this is the definition of the twist, right? And because I pick, typically I pick the, uh, the O as the origin of the frame, I would just say this P dot equal to omega cross P plus V. Right, this v and omega is the things in the uh, in the twist. I hope that that describes that's a, a linear differential equation describe the screw motion or describe arbitrary rigid motion can be written like this. Right, um, again, omega cross p is nothing but omega screw symmetric matrix times p of t. That's a linear matrix. No, sorry, it's a linear function of p and the plus a V. So if I write like this, it's not really a linear differential equation in P because I have a, another term V here. So overall, I can use the extended uh, homogeneous coordinate and to make it a linear in homogeneous coordinate. <clears throat> so this equation goes directly to the same, the first part, first row of the, of the other equation, all right? So that means P dot equal to omega single symmetric times P plus V times one. And second row hold, holds uh, trivially, zero equal to zero times zero times zero plus zero times one, all right? So the second part holds uh, trivially. So this is uh, three by three, this is a three by one, vector and here it's a three, uh, one by three zeros. Okay, one by three, this is one by one. And we call this guy P tilde T dot. Okay, and uh, <clears throat> uh, remember the homogeneous coordinate, if I have a point P is homogeneous coordinate, P tilde is, T is P of T one. Okay, and if we have uh, P dot, okay, that will be P T dot, if you take P dot, all right, that's P dot T. If you use this guy, P dot, then that's P dot, and one dot is zero, right, it's constant. So that's consistent with our uh, notation. So uh, that's a homogeneous coordinate dot, this part, and this guy, is the homogeneous coordinate of P tilde. Okay, um, overall, I will have, still have a linear function, right? Uh, let me denote this guy as, uh, this is a bigger matrix, right? Oh, hold on. This is a big matrix, four by four matrix, 
This is a four R four three R four. This is a four vector. So overall, I will have uh, uh, let's call this guy a tuta. So overall, I will have p tuta dot equals to a tuta times p tuta uh, t. Okay, that's again a linear differential equation in p tuta in homogeneous coordinate in R four, and we know the solution. Right, the solution to this guy is p tutor dot uh, p tutor p tutor t equal to matrix exponential a tutor times t times p tutor zero, the initial point. Okay, which I have uh, written like this. Okay, uh, let me just. Uh, Yes, that's right. So uh, let me just copy that again. P tilde T, the matrix exponential. The solution is E to the A tilde T times P tilde zero. Again, um, everything should, uh, this is purely a physics for now, okay? So basically, Everything should happen in the, with, regard to, with respect to a same kind of coordinate system. And what we want to you to view the whole kind of motion as moving or translating or a moving, raised body motion, right? Uh, apply raised body motion to the point P and start from P0 tilde and apply this motion for time T. And uh, uh, I don't think that's right, by the way. Sorry. I don't have. You guys should remind me. This is no secure symmetry anymore. That's uh, E A tilde T, right? I call this guy uh, A tilde. Uh, this is a typo as well. This is A tilde T, right? A tilde is has this special form, okay? And apply this uh, kind of operator. Apply its operator to the initial point and takes you to the uh, location in homogeneous coordinate at time t. Okay, so we call this guy a uh, rigid body, rigid body operator. Any questions? You see that a tutor is it's just this guy, this matrix, and this matrix has a special structure. So we introduce a little more notation. Uh, in, it's, um, it's not that uh, crucial for understanding the physics, but it's convenient to, to, to use in the formulas, okay? Uh, in other words, if you give me a twist, I can always construct this A matrix, A tilde matrix, right? It's always construct matrix of this form. And we call this kind of matrix, a matrix representation of twist. So this guy is in R6, right? And this matrix representation becomes a R four by four. It's a four by four matrix. Okay, because that's essentially the A to the matrix in the differential, linear differential equation. And of course that's for twist and the screw axis is just a unit uh, twist. So that becomes, we can also apply this. So for example, we can write this as the notation is clear from contact. If this uh, omega and the V represent the screw axis twist, the twist correspond to the screw axis, then I can also write this. Okay, it's the same thing. Of course, this screw axis, I can also represent it in the in a more natural representation uh, parameterization. Okay, with this notation, the solution to two is P tilde equal to E to the S T because um, this screw axis typically is a unit speed, right? And then we can reply, we can represent this as theta 
equal to e theta p0 tilde. So if you initially at p tilde zero, and then you rotate about the screw axis, follow screw motion, not only rotation, rotation and the motion moving, right? Follow that for t time, that means you move that after theta degree, uh, t degree, and uh, that will become that the, uh, the, the final location of the point. And simple fact, it's the exponential is always a homogeneous transformation matrix. Let me repeat that again. Any matrix of this form is always a valid homogeneous transformation matrix. What do I mean by that? It's, uh, so this as T, suppose this is a, this as defined like this, right? Um, is always can be written as the form of this R P zero one, where R is in S O three, and the P is R three. Okay. So rotation a homogeneous transformation matrix is of this form, right? This is orientation, and this is the uh, the position of the origin of one frame relative to the to the other. It turns out this guy, if you write like this, also always have this form. And this can be proved, I think. Uh, let me see, right, okay, this can be proved, can be easily proved, uh, can be proved using definitions, using definitions of uh, matrix exponential, okay? Exponential. Because of this special form of this uh, uh, matrix, this this uh, matrix representation of twist, because of this special form, if you take exponential, you just uh, you just define it. Uh, let me think. If you if you write it like uh, e to the s t is just identity plus omega hat v zero one t plus two factorial. If you're just using this formula. Uh, you can prove that it's always have this form. Okay, by definition, you can prove this. Okay, and it turns out any homogeneous transformation matrix can be written uh, as this. It's in, in other words, it can be viewed as an operator that moves a point or frame along the screw axis as this script x. Okay, as at unit speed for time t. Okay, so if you gave me a homogeneous transformation matrix t before we view that as a change of coordinate thing, right? It's like a configuration of one frame relative to the other. But now uh, we take a operator view of it in the sense that given any kind of this t matrix, I can always find a screw axis S such that T is equal to E to the ST. This means rotate about that screw axis for time T at unit speed for time T. Okay. So that's become a action, not a, a configuration representation anymore. Okay, uh, a few more notations. Again, those are all simplified the discussion. It doesn't really affect any, add any new physical context, uh, contents. Uh, before, uh, let's say for any omega in R3, we know uh, skew symmetric, this is skew symmetric matrix. We call that little SO3. We briefly discussed that uh, last lecture. And if you, and then you can map to, if you take exponential omega theta, that means rotate about the axis for theta time, they become capital SO3. That becomes an, a, a, a rotation matrix or orientation. Uh, similarly, similarly for any twist or screw, sim, screw axis, let's say in R6, this guy is omega V, right? is the twist corresponds to the screw axis. Hopefully that's clear. And uh, <clears throat> then we can write this guy, the matrix representation, this is what? This is a, a four by four matrix. 
right? Matrix. This guy, uh, we call that belong to SE3, little SE3. Then you take the exponential map, exponential map. Uh, here is also exponential map. Uh, then it's exponential as S theta belongs to S E capital S E three. Okay, so in the sense that here is S little S E three is consists of all this uh, 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 the major representation of the twist. Okay, so the basically you need to find the major representation of uh, sorry the symmetric matrix correspond to omega and the uh, linear velocity component. So this guy, what I mean is you construct like this, V, zero, zero, that's the matrix, right? That's what's inside uh, all the things in this form uh, constitutes or made up the uh, SE3, little SE3. So SE3 contains all matrix representation of twist or equivalent in all twist. So some textbook, or references say this matrix is a, a twist. So mm, there are many different ways to define twist, but I hope those notations doesn't really confuse you. Um, you roughly understand what's going on would be enough for, for you to, to, to get to know the underlying physics. Uh, if you want to be super precise, then there's a lot of a notation thing that you need to be uh, aware of. Okay, any questions? Now let's uh, think about homogeneous transformation. Put a few more words. I don't want to go over all the details now. <clears throat> and to summarize the homogeneous transformation as reason about the operator or operation. So the ODE for twist, if I give you a twist, now it doesn't really represent, um, it's, it's, it describes the motion, right? And if and the motion also can be described by a linear differential equation for any point that rotates with the body. It's a linear differential equation. It's written like this. That's the definition of twist. And we can find it out like this. And uh, now if we think about this uh, unit speed, right? It has a screw axis. And that means, uh, let's say, let's say if, if not unit speed, unit speed, then we will write screw axis times theta dot, right? The speed is not a one. And before, let's comment that before, um, for T belong to the homogeneous matrix, uh, T can be, has different meanings, right? Before, we think of this as a change of coordinate or orientation, configuration, configuration, representation, representation, right? In other words, that TBA means config of B frame relative to A, A frame. Okay, so if I have a homogeneous coordinate of a point uh, P in A, that's TBA homogeneous B. So that's our, uh, we, we learned before about this. Uh, this way we have these two things that are the same physical point, let's say physical point, but two different frames. Different frames to represent the same point, okay? Two different frames. Similar to the rotation case, if we view that as a operator, okay, for a point in E3, I can also view that as a verb, an action, an operator that actually rotates about, a uh, rotate point with body point along a screw axis. In this case, well, typically write like this, okay? That means you rotate P about screw axis T S by theta degree. In this case, um, I will say here T equal to E S 
data. The meaning is if you find a T, if you give me a T, I can always find the screw axis such that T equal to this matrix exponential form. And that means actually you are trying to uh, uh, rotate the point P from uh, initial position to the final position follow a screw motion. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> in this case, that's become action. In this case, I have two points. It's exactly the same as the rotation case. I don't want to go over all the details, just point out the same thing. So there's two points, right? One is P uh, tilter, the other one from, of after applied motion physically become a new point. Okay, physically it become a new point. And the relation between these two points is related by T, okay, T times that. Or more precisely, um, if I want to relate, so uh, how to say that? If I want to represent this operator in O frame, uh, that means P uh, tilde prime in O frame equal to T, the operator representation in O times P tilde also in O. There's a one frame, one reference frame, two points. And the, the relation between the two points is the prime is uh, the result after applying a screw motion to the point initially located at the P uh, tilde. Okay, and also um, uh, TTA actually rotates frame A about the screw axis as by theta degree. In this case, T is also written as this. Whenever you see exponential, that's a differential equation, right? A matrix exponential is a differential equation. It's actually an operator view. And again, similar to the uh, rotation case, the operator view, the operator can be applied using different frames. As I mentioned before, uh, you can select all frame to represent the operation because you have two points. Physically, just apply this to the other. And you can choose a frame A or frame B to represent the same operation. And the numerical values of this matrix will be different. I think this should be clear to you if you want to say this is operator in O. I didn't say A this time is O. This operator in B, then you need to do this uh, this. This TB means TBO, right? To change the coordinate to O, apply the operator in O, then change back to the frame B. Okay, so that's the uh, operator relation. Uh, I hope that's clean enough. Okay, uh, I think last time I was stop stop here. As we as we saw last time, the if I have a, a point, let's say P. Uh, did I draw anything? Yeah, this is a P. And uh, taking a reasonable body motion, I can P prime. This is thing as a P is attached to a reasonable body and moves with the whole reasonable body. Then <clears throat> uh, P prime can be obtained as uh, P prime equal to T uh, P. This is all, it's moving a point or vectors from initial position to a final position uh, in the, on the reason body, okay? Now, which we look a little bit more general, generalized version of uh, operator that operates uh, the screw axis, okay? Let me draw a figure. Suppose initially uh, I have a screw axis in space, right? I say I have screw axis, axis, Square axis is defined in terms of, uh, uh, let me change that. Square axis can be defined in terms of the direction, the head, and a point on the square axis, and pitch, and also uh, velocity or speed that uh, rotates a lot about the square axis. So this is the square axis like that. And they physically uh, located in the space uh, uniquely if you specify Q uniquely, all right? And uh, suppose I apply a rigid body motion, okay? I apply a rigid body motion. 
the direction and the Q all will be changed, right? And uh, then this becomes another screw axis in the space. Let's call that, uh, uh, let's say S prime. Okay, after I apply the rigid body motion, uh, this is S hat prime Q prime H, H, well, it's typically doesn't change anyway. Let's just say this characterized by Let's assume that theta dot is always one, okay? The square axis is defined like the following, right? What we are trying to do is that let's assume uh, this reason body operator is T, okay? This T, let's assume, assume T is, uh, all the reason body operator can be viewed as rotate about a screw axis that's uh, for a certain degree, right? And the first question I, I would like to ask, maybe Hongbo, is this yeah. S hat, is uh, this S hat same as S, this is S, or S prime? Well, it's Oh, I think it's a, another a, another kind of access. It's okay, not yes. and uh, it's not uh, uh, Yeah, not at all. Okay. Yeah. This S hat is to represent the rigid body operator. Okay. If you think uh, a tool abstract, let's let's draw a coordinates. Suppose I have a body. And uh, let's say the body frame uh, attached to a frame A is attached to the body, and the square axis is also with respect to the body. And uh, <clears throat> now I move to uh, I apply the rigid body operator to to the whole thing, right? The entire thing translate and also rotate. What I mean by that is the frame and also square axis move in the same way. Suppose they are rigidly con connected together, okay? So uh, that will be, looks like, I'm not sure whether I draw correctly. That's maybe it looks like this. After that, it becomes a B frame. Mm. Let, me, let me make some space. Let's assume, uh, assume, T equal to e exponential s hat theta, right? Then the question is this, right? That's my comment. Uh, a square axis and the a rigid attached, right? I uh, apply a rigid body operator or motion to the whole connected system. They move together, and then eventually the the frame becomes here, and then the axis becomes here. Is that clear? Okay. So now my question is, how do we relate S prime uh, with respect to S? Okay. So there's many ways to prove this or argue through it. Uh, let's do a very simple one. Okay. Let's work with uh, with an arbitrary frame. Frame A. A is pick arbitrary, but it's just rigidly attached to the, uh, it's just uh, attached, uh, let's think, rigidly attached to the screw axis, to the screw axis. So it says in the sense that it moves the same way as the bond, or as the axis. Okay. We only pick, let's pick a arbitrary one frame. Okay. Now uh, let's let B frame be the frame frame obtained by by applying the T operator operation. B is not peak arbitrarily, okay? B is a result of the whole reasonability operation. Hope that's clear. 
Any questions? So um, <clears throat> let's uh, use some frame, okay? The coordinate, the coordinate of S, that's the original square axis, in A is, should be the same as the coordinate of S prime in B. Number wise, they are the same. I'm not sure whether this part is okay or not. Hongba, yes. this is a fact or our uh, conclusion. Well, right? there's a body coordinate. So suppose you have something that has a body coordinate, and if you move this body, and they move together, the body local coordinate doesn't change. That, that's exactly what we mean here, right? In other words, or IE, uh, S coordinate in A, this is physical quantity in A coordinate, equal to S prime in B. That looks a little bit weird. That's the numerical value, they are the same. Okay, let me give you an example. Suppose I have a body, if you like body, okay? Uh, suppose I have a point on the body. This is a point on the body. This is a point on the body. And uh, the body has a body fixed frame. This is called A, right? I apply a motion, or sorry, operator key, and the whole thing changes, right? Okay, and the frame also changes the same way. And there's a Q prime physically in the real world, these two are different. But looking at local coordinate, it doesn't change. What I mean is that uh, Q prime B equal to Q A. Okay, because relative position to the to the frame is the same after you apply the reason value operator. Okay, I hope that's clear. Uh, the second thing is the following. Now let's call this part one. Okay, uh, the second bullet is we also know uh, T times TA is applied with body become TB, right? Are you okay with this notation? So frame A if you apply a result operator, then become TB. If we, if you still remember, that's that's what we say before, right? That's this means apply the operator a screw motion to rotate frame A about the screw axis by fifty degree. That's operator in A. That gives you another frame, which is B, right? And in coordinates, I can express this one in different coordinates, right? So this guy is, uh, let's just say A. I can pick a A to represent this thing. Then uh, this becomes, we can say T equals to uh, T B of A. Right? Because this guy is identity. Okay. Uh, so T B of A. This t has the numerical value similar to that. Okay, now let's uh, let's do one thing. Let's apply. Let's multiply. Multiply x b a. The change coordinate of twist because a square axis has the twist representation. So <clears throat> x b in a apply this to uh, equation one. What we got is x b a times T, oh, sorry, times S in A equals to X B A to the right, right? So S prime, sorry, S prime B. Okay, if you look at this one, that's it, what is it? This is change coordinate of uh, twist that's become S prime in A as well. So what we got is 
Um, yeah, well, we already got the result, right? So, so S prime A equal to X B A S in A. What does this mean? Hongbo? Uh, that means we change the all a uh, frame of S A to the another mm -hmm. uh, place. Okay. Uh not really about frame. Okay, so so everything is in A frame, right? Everything is expressed in A frame. So this guy is almost like an operator now. Okay. So it moves S to S prime. So this guy is a operator of this uh reasonable motion or operator for twist. Or sorry, for twist or square axis, they're the same. Okay. So if we if we write it down, so X B A as we defined before, it is uh uh is R B A. This is a P B A. Suppose T is uh R B A. T B A, right? Because uh, T is equal to T equal to T B A, right? As we mentioned before. <clears throat> so <clears throat> this guy is that will be uh let, let's, I forgot the formula. Yeah, that's what else? This is a P B A uh P B A uh school symmetric R B A. Uh, this part is what? What is it again? Ruben. What's the change of coordinate to? Oh, yes, there's R again. This is R again. This is R B A. Okay. So overall, this is nothing but adjoint of T. Okay, because I joint of T is defined as R P. Suppose T is R and P. That's uh, this is a P school symmetric R and R. Okay, so we can write like this. If in coordinate free way, that's operate that like that. A twist or or its corresponding square axis. Okay, so if you apply this. Uh, reasonable operator, then this becomes this guy is the uh operator for twist associated with the that's why it's called the joint operator associated with the reasonable operation T. This guy oh, has no. six by six. Uh, any questions? Yeah, but... The guy's should be zero uh, of the X. Yeah, that's the Here? Yeah, yeah. Here? Oh, okay. Sorry. Yeah, 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 exactly. Sorry. This is lower triangular. This guy is zero. This guy is zero. Yes, that's right. Okay. So this is six by six. This guy is twist six by one, right? This guy is six by one in twist expression. Okay. Um, that's, that's the end. So we know how to Let's take a look of uh, this this page. Okay, <clears throat> we can think of any reasonable motion, as I mentioned before, as a screw motion. As a screw motion, and uh, and t times a point means follow some screw motion operator to uh to move the point. Okay, and the t times t a is apply the uh, screw motion. Uh, to uh, uh, by some kind of square axis as by a uh, theta degree, right? And we can also say for uh, a screw axis, another screw axis, uh, let's call that, well, that's any other notation. This is screw axis, then uh, adjoint of T times S brings to us to another screw axis. And uh, the relation between S prime and S is really applying the, the reasonable operator for T. 